Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the iGear Flip Turn Keyboard Case for the iPad Air from iGear Unlimited. This case comes in two colors. I have the black, it's also available in a silver, each selling for $129.99. The iGear Flip Turn Keyboard Case is probably one of the most functional keyboard cases I've had a chance to review, and I'm going to show you why right now. So I have the case out of the packaging. In addition to the case itself, there really isn't a lot other than a small manual, as well as a micro USB or recharging cable. And that will be used to recharge the battery inside the keyboard case. So essentially what this case is, is a keyboard case that is coated in soft touch material all around, as you can see. As I open it up, you'll notice that it does work with the automatic on off of the iPad, so that when you open the case up, it turns on. When you close it, it turns off. Now on this side here, there are four like rubberized feet to protect uh, whatever surface you place this on and also prevent the case from sliding around. While we have it in the closed position, let's check out all the cutouts. On the bottom, there is one cutout for the lightning port and the speakers. On the side, another single cutout for the volume up and down and the mute or orientation switch. On the top, there are a lot other of other cutouts here. Sleep wake button, the main mic, the headset jack, the secondary mic, and the camera on the back. You can see there's a small iGear logo. The only other noticeable thing on here is the micro USB port, which I mentioned you'll need to recharge the battery inside here. So as I open this up, this case folds into three, what I'll call really unique positions. First, let's turn the Bluetooth on. As you can see, it lights up with a um, Bluetooth uh, LED there in blue. And we'll go to our settings to pair this thing up. It's a quite simple process that you only have to do one time and once it's done, you never have to do it again. So I'll hit this connect button here, and there the keyboard immediately pops up. I'll tap on it and wait for it to pair up. As with most, most Bluetooth keyboards, you do have to put in a code and then hit enter. Can't remember how many times I hit two there. Yeah, let's see, I think I hit the wrong code. So let's try that one more time, 8745, and then enter. And now we're paired up. So as I mentioned, this keyboard goes into three different stand positions. This is what we'll call the traditional typing position, which works real nice um, when you wanna just start typing. So if just go into Spotlight, and this feels like a small laptop or a netbook, if you will. The keys are plastic. They give a little bit of tactile feedback, which is nice. And you do have a row above the number key. So in conjunction with the function key, uh, that work just with the iPad. So, you know, as far as the keyboard goes, it's a relatively simple keyboard. You'll notice this glossy top and bottom that's protected by this uh, material, which you can peel off um, once you get going. It's super glossy, as you can see, and that's why it comes protected in that stuff. It won't scratch, though. It is um, a little bit fingerprinty, but it looks really nice. Um, now, as I mentioned, this is the first angle, but that's just kind of the starting point. This thing flips around, and what you can do is you can place it into tablet mode like that. So now you've got no keyboard at all. You'd probably want to obviously turn the Bluetooth keyboard off because it's still connected right now. So if you go into tablet mode, you're going to want to shut the keyboard off so that when you you know go into an area that needs text, the uh, iPad knows to bring up the regular keyboard like it just did. So that's the second angle. And finally, it's got this cool video angle. So you could prop it up like this, which kind of takes the keyboard and everything else out of the way for watching movies and whatnot. And then when you're done, swivel it back, close the thing up, and you're good to go. So the iGear keyboard, the iGear keyboard um, is definitely one of the more functional keyboard cases that I've had a chance to review. The flip turn keyboard case will cost $129.99 in either the black that I have here or silver. And you can learn more about it via the link I'll have in the video description. I'll also have a link down there to my full review of this case over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, definitely drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.